Just when I thought cowboy culture was dead, it only seems to be growing. Agree slash disagree. Growing up, my friends were ashamed of their cowboy parents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son, you want me to come in to career day? No, Dad. No, no Dad. No, please. I can do some of my lasso tricks. No, Mom's shit. Come on. Now, growing up. My friends were ashamed of their cowboy parents. They uh-huh. refused to dress cowboyish and made comments like, I hate country music. But now they are older, most of them with families. I noticed now they changed and have accepted the cowboy lifestyle. <laughs> they now dress in cowboy clothes and listen to country music. Yeah. Have you noticed this, or is this just something that happened in my city? That's from Dead. No, it's definitely all over. I've seen that all over. You know, you get these cowboy punk cultures? kids. Yeah, when they're like 18, you know, they're getting tatted up and pierced all over. But then by 36, right. it's cowboy. bolo ties, baby. Yeah. Yep. They're wearing they sh- uh, Stetsons. Mm-hmm. They're wearing some uh, some Dan's boots. Looking, getting, close, getting close with the Lord. Getting close with the Lord. And enjoying uh, country music. Little Carrie Underwood. I bet they enjoy and and they do not like it when you take their cows and they're like they don't I burned like it that cow skin. Cows. I yeah. put a hot I, hot piece of metal on that cow. It's mine, but I see it on your lawn, Dave. And you're I like, was well, gonna wandered over me here. And, me and my family's gonna eat that cow later, and uh-huh. you took them. So now I have to get have to get you. And now, do you want some of these beans? Uh, in the meantime that I've been cooking over this open fire. That's huge now, holy shit. Like, oh, yeah. jo- let's put jokes away for a second. Teens oh, yeah. are cooking beans on campfires. Yeah, yeah. right? Teens they're on beans. Te- they're called teen beans. Yeah. <laughs> and they're full of protein yeah. and actually really good on the glycemic index. Yeah. So that now, I love. I saw on Facebook, my- though, that it was okay. leading to a lot of injuries and yeah, like fucking, kids. So fucked that I think it fucking sucks that like beans come up organically and you know what a big part beans play in my life. And I've probably got a lot of good bean material saved up. And the fact that you would just trample me like that is extremely hurtful. He's the beans and man. Yet, I, He's yeah, the beans brand. man. I'm sorry I trampled you. your beans. I just have so many great insights about beans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I was taking it like a Tide Pod way. It's like eating a thousand tiny loaves of bread. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, Trev- Travis, let's just sit in it for a second and let Justin we'll sort of dump I'd his beans I'd love to sit in some beans. Yeah, we'll Remember sit that in time I told Patch Adams my dream was to sit in a swimming pool full of beans? Yeah. yeah. Why did you do that? Because I'm nasty. <laughs> but I, you asked us if you should do that. And we said, no, you know what's going to happen. He's going to make you sit in beans. And then you're going to get in and you're going to instantly realize, oh, I don't like this. And he's going to make you stay in it till you're better. I know for 100% fact two things. Uh-huh. One. Our audience has never seen the film Patch Adams. <laughs> Two, we have definitely talked about the scene in Patch Adams where he allows an old woman her life's goal of sitting in a vat full of noodles. This is true. I, these two things. And I know a third thing. I have a new joke about it. Okay. How long did that old lady, do you think after five minutes she was like, I know this probably took a long time to engineer. <laughs> But I'd like very much to get out of the noodles now. If <laughs> that would be okay, I think if she made it five minutes, that's a that's a triumph of the human spirit. Because I would get in and be like, "There's not a lot to do now. What? Okay, and now what do I do? Yeah, what's next for me? One time, I went into uh like a resale shop to look for furniture for uh the theater I was working at, and they had a bunch of TVs set up for sale. And like you do at like a lot of electronic stores, they had like mo- a movie playing on it, and the movie they were playing on it was Patch Adams, mm-hmm. and it was such an interesting choice to me because they were like, you know, it's going to get people really hyped to buy these TVs. It's going to really show the top quality of these TVs and get people energized. Patch Adams. <laughs> and yeah, so there was just a row of 20 televisions all showing Patch Adams. One time I was in the waiting room while my oil was getting changed and they were showing Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's not anything else that's, I have to say about that. It's a badass flick. I Will enjoyed Smith, it. Superheroes. But he's, ba- but he's not good. He's not if nice. And we've we've gonna... also talked about Hancock before. So let's, let's maybe. Yeah, well, we've talked about everything before, though. We can't just I haven't stop. talked about cowboy culture. And uh, I, Thank you. I knew. Uh, listen, I wasn't ashamed of our cowboy parents. 
I thought no. I thought they were I thought they were putting in honest yeah. work to raise their family. And you know what? You know what I appreciated? What did dad, you appreciate, Trav, Trav? Dad's best friend was his horse. And like, mm. yeah, the relationship and people have asked us time and time again, what's the deal with you guys and horses? And that's really it is, you know, yeah. th- there was there was Uncle Honey and he was around all the time. And we yeah. love that guy, you know, and sometimes dad let him babysit or take the car out when he had big plans. And the horse. Were, yeah, we knew growing up and this was fine with us. We knew that if you asked our dad to list his great loves uh-huh. of his life, mm. we would be three. Mom would be two. The open prairie at dawn yeah. would be number one. Absolutely, that's our dad's heart. Yeah. Our dad's heart is in that that wide open trail yeah. and the promise of fortune yeah. and misfortune that is imbued within. And do you guys remember when Dad retired from being a sheriff and moved to yeah. that town? Because he wanted yes. to make some money, not in the gold trade, but rather selling equipment to people in the gold trade. But the town was so lawless that he yeah. was forced to take up the badge again and become the law in that town. And I respected that. Yeah, I did. I, did. I understood it too, for sure. Yeah. I fucking hated Bad Mustache Man, though. You remember when Dad yeah. had to fight Bad Mustache Man? I did not his, like him. <laughs> to keep his city safe. He made six cool friends. And they were they were magnificent, and that's a and a, I've run out of cowboy references. I did, yeah. I, Do you, you know remember when sa- Dad played for the Dallas Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> but then he it's broke like, his shoulder, had to retire. Remember when our dad played Cowboy Curtis? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when our dad was a young male cow? Yeah. Gosh. Okay. Um, so, what do we want to do? You guys want to do another question? You want to go to the money? What's what are y'all feeling right that now? That was such a good money zone handoff, and you've botched it. You have dropped the ball, just like our dad did in Super Bowl Thirty Six. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Remember when our dad got really good at bebop? Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen. No. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>